Hi everybody, welcome to Taylor Toned. I'm Gabby and today I'm going to guide you through a nearly 30 minute bar and pilates inspired workout. This one is going to be standing and floor based so I would recommend that you grab yourself a mat to protect your knees or a soft surface. You don't need any equipment for this workout, just yourself. If you've not checked out my Instagram, head over to at Taylor Toned, give me a little follow on there. And I also have a mailing list on www.taylortoned.com and I'm gonna be revealing some super exciting news to those subscribed first. So make sure you head over after this workout. Okay, let's get straight into this burner and shaker. Okay, you're gonna go ahead, start with your feet wider than your hips, point your toes forwards, and we're just gonna to start to sweep the hands to the side. We go side to side. Let's go, we go for a reach, reach. So just sweeping those arms out to the side of your room, keeping your fingertips in line with your shoulders, and you're gonna point through that opposing foot and bend through the knees as you sweep and sweep. Now start to pull those abs in, hug the waistline in, roll those shoulders back, because and down, go to so just get the heart rate up. Up. Now option here to take a deeper bend through those legs. We go sweep, 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 and sweep. Reach inside, side, inhale, exhale. You've got seven, six, five more, four more, three, two, one. You're gonna step to the back of your mat. So bring yourself all the way back to your mat and you're gonna bring your chin to your chest, you're gonna roll through the spine, and then you're gonna walk it all the way out into a plank. You're gonna hold the plank and then walk back in, bend through the knees and roll up. So we go, chin to chest, roll it down, and you're gonna walk all the way into a plank. Option here to add a right knee squeeze, left knee, and then walk it backwards again. So walking those hands down towards the floor, breathing in, breathing exhale away, walking out, you're gonna go with the knee, Hold the knee, push backwards. You've got two more of these to go. Rolling through the spine. Bring your chin in towards your chest. Walking all the way out. We hug the knee to the belly button, other knee in, press back. You've got one more, and then this time, you're gonna hold down there in your plank. You've got this. Walking all the way out. We're gonna squeeze one knee, other knee now stay there. Shoulders are over the top of your wrists. I want you to step your feet hip distance apart. You're gonna squeeze your belly button up towards the spine and the eye line should just be in the middle of your fingertips. You've got a straight line curl the head down towards those heels. Now squeeze your abdominals in nice and tight. You're gonna go rock forwards, rock back. Rock forwards, rock back. So as you rock forwards, you should get an extra emphasis here on the shoulders burning out. We go rock forwards rock back. If you can feel in the lumbar spine, your hips are too low. Rock forwards, rock back. You've got three and push. Two, press. Last one, you're going to hold through centre, drop down onto what your left forearm. Drop down onto your right forearm. You're going to rotate left fingertips to right elbow and you're going to roll all the way round to me. Sweep this hand high. If you want the modified version of this, underneath knee goes down to the floor. So that underneath hip is going to go down to the floor and it's gonna squeeze up to the sky. If you want the advanced version, you've got both those knees off and you are squeezing it up. You want your elbow stacked or underneath your shoulder. If you can feel this into the shoulder girdle too much, you need to drop down into that modification until you build up the strength. You've got two more, drop down. And we squeeze all the way up to the sky. You've got one more, drop down. And you're gonna squeeze, lift and hold. Stay there, give me six, five, Four, center in three, in two, in one. Now come onto those forearms and don't let those knees drop down. Nice deep inhale, nice deep exhale. You're gonna rotate now right fingertips to left elbow and you're gonna roll round and sweep the hand nice and high. The underneath hip, it drops all the way down and then it squeezes all the way back up again. Is your elbow stacked underneath your shoulder? Are your feet stacked on top of one another? Don't be afraid to take that modified option. Squeeze all the way up. Give me two more of these. You can do this. Drop down. We squeeze up and lift. You've got one more, then hold stillness. Drop down. 
Now you're gonna press lift to the top and give me five, four, center in three, in two, in one. You're gonna come back on towards those forearms, forearm plank position. Again, same principle, shoulders over the top of those elbows, fingers, hips point forwards. Now stay here. If you can feel it in the lumbar spine, tuck the tailbone under. You wanna be drawing your pubic bone up towards your belly button. You've got stillness, four, just eight, just seven, low with knees, child's pose. In five, in four, in three, in two, one. Well done, toes together. Open through the knees, push backwards. Take a little child's pose here, inhale. And you're gonna exhale, roll yourself all the way up. Quick push-up set. I want you to bring your fingertips and your thumb together. You're gonna bring the hands, so you're gonna bring your gaze over the top of your fingers. Now come back on towards your knees and you're driving your chest bone towards your hands. Inhale, as you exhale, elbows fire behind yourself and we press to the sky. The hips, they come forwards and down to the floor. So I see this so much where people do this. I want you to get your hips down to the ground, all the way up, so you feel it in your core as well. We drop down, we squeeze up, press. You've got two more like this, drop down. We squeeze up and press. You've got it. One more. We drop down. We squeeze and press. Now bring the hands to the edge of the mat and the elbows, they fire behind you. Single count. So we go bend, push, bend. Push ups on your knees, elbows fire behind yourself, and the chest goes down to the floor. You have just four. Press. Three. Two. Last one. Now hold as low as you can. Elbows fire behind yourself. Little tiny presses. Drop and drop. This is the end of your warm-up. Get as low as you can for 10, for nine more drops. Eight, don't let the upper spine collapse. Five, four, push back in three, two, one. Well done, quick child pose. Bring the toes together, open through those knees. You're gonna walk the hands in, roll yourself up. Now bring the hands forwards, tuck the toes under, and then you're gonna walk all the way in. Take a soft and a bend through the knees, and roll yourself up, face to base. Bring your hands to a prayer. Step in here, your left foot forwards, turn it out. You're gonna bring the right heel back, bend through the knees and then slide this leg backwards and drop down towards the floor. So I'm really hoping there is no glare on my camera right now because it's kind of in the sun. So I'm hoping you can see me nice and clear, fingers crossed. You're gonna lower down towards the floor. Now the weight is equal in between your feet. We go little drop, little lift little down, little up. Now the lower you get here in this exercise, the more it's gonna burn, the more you're gonna burn and shake. Roll those shoulders back and down. We go, little drop, little lift, lift. We go, press down, lift up, drop, lift. Knees firing over the top of that front toe. We go, down hold, lift hold, down hold, lift hold. Sinking the tailbone in between your feet. Go, drop, little lift. You've got five. You have four here. You've got three more here, you can do it. You've got two. Now last one, you're gonna hold down there. The back thigh is gonna push backwards. So go press, press, push, press. You're going outside with the thigh, push in, back, press back. Now squeeze those abs in. Can you get lower down towards the ground? I don't normally wear a long t-shirt when I'm teaching on YouTube, just so you can see my waist more. But I just really wanted to match this little cute outfit up today. Wrap and wrap. You've got seven, six, you've got five more. Here go four, you've got three, two, hold, sink lower. Can you press your front heel off the ground? Can you drop those hips down towards the floor and give me 15 seconds of stillness here until we go into that other leg. You've just got 10 and nine. You've got eight more seconds, seven, drop lower. Six and five, you've got four more seconds. Three, two, one. Lifting up, you're gonna bring your right foot forward, turn out through the leg. You're gonna bend through the knees, bring this back heel all the way up and then drop low into that place. Squeeze that leg backwards, lower down to the floor. We go, little drop, little lift, little down, little lift. There is so much going on today around me, literally. My music's not loud enough so I can't hear the beat. The camera's got glare on it. There's car driving past, it's all going wrong. We go a little drop, it's like the last one. We go a little drop, lift, down, up. You've got five, lift, four more, lift, 
three, lift up. You've got two, lift up. Now last one, you're gonna hold down there. Back knee down towards the ground. And can you drop nice and low into that plie? Your back thigh is gonna press back, back, back. Push back, press back. Squeezing that thigh all the way behind yourself. Go press and press. Can you sink lower towards the floor? Now check your weight. Is your weight, are your hips equally between your front and back leg? Make sure you are doing that right now. Can you squeeze, push any lower, deeper into your plie? Go little, push back, we go a little press, little press. Imagine I have my hand on the back of your thigh and you're pushing me away with a one inch movement. You barely, barely move anywhere, but it's so intense. A little squeeze, little squeeze, little push, little press. You have a hold in 10, in nine, in eight more seconds, seven, we hold in six, in five, we hold in four, in three, in two, one. Now hold there, you're gonna sink low to the floor. Option, can you peel your front heel all the way off the floor for the final 15 seconds? If this isn't burning, it's because you're not low enough. So get down, knees over the top of the middle toe and hold here, four, go 10, go nine, you've got eight seconds, seven, you've got it, six, and five, you're out in four, in three, in two, one. Whew. You're gonna bend through the knees safely and slowly, lower yourself down to the ground, and then you're gonna bring your right forearm towards the floor. Then you're gonna bring your left forearm to the floor. You're gonna bring your toes in line with the butt, and then, in fact, no, we're not gonna do that, sorry. Let me take my mic off. Again, it's all going wrong today. You're gonna to lower yourself to the side body. You're gonna bring your left forearm in front of yourself, and the toes come together. You're gonna to lift the knee to the side clamshell, and then close back together again. So toes in line with your butt. You're gonna open the knee to the side, and back down again. You might not get a very big range of movement, but that is fine, as long as you are squeezing from the back of your butt and then squeezing back down again. You've got two more. We lift the knee up, we close it back down. One more. You're gonna lift the knee away from the floor and then you're gonna take the toes off the floor. So we go close for two, go open and press. We take it down and down, we take it back lift so you are pushing your thigh behind yourself we go press down for two we press it open and squeeze so the toes stay together here if you want a modified version of this the toes stay on the floor that front arm front forearm is on the ground one million percent if that front forearm isn't forearm isn't on the ground you won't feel the burn as much for your butt so get that forearm down or we go squeeze wrap go press Push, keep the hips and the chest right facing round towards me. We go, open that knee up, you've got it. Close the knee down. Open the knee and squeeze, push and close. This is your butt section, if you haven't guessed. I am feeling it already. If you want the modification, don't be afraid to let the toe touch down to the ground. Go close and close, we go, press open, press open, press together. You've got three more of these to go. Close, close, two more, open, go close, and close one more. You're gonna open that leg and you're gonna take little tiny presses. Back, back, squeeze, squeeze. So you're pushing that thigh behind yourself, pushing back through that leg. You've just got 10 to the bridge, nine, and eight more pushes, seven, six, we have the bridge in five, in four more presses, three, two, one. Oh, okay, you're gonna lower straight away on towards your back. So lower yourself down all the way on towards your back. You're gonna walk your heels in towards your butt and you're gonna bring your hands around the side of your hips. Now float the hips away from the floor. So just float those hips up. If you've got a mirror nearby, you wanna aim for a 90 degree angle through the lower legs and through the upper legs. You're gonna take a drop, a lift. Drop, then up. Go down, then press. So squeeze the butt together nice and tight, drop down, press lift. Option here to dig your heels in towards the floor. We go press down, lift up, six. You've got five more, four, and press. You've got three more, you've got it, two, 
then press. Last one, you're gonna keep your hips away from the floor. You're gonna dig the heels in and take tiny little presses up. Lift, 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 lift. I can barely hear the music today. <laughs> So I'm literally just maybe counting to myself in my own time. Go lift and squeeze. Now as you lift your hips, I want you to squeeze your butt together, but make sure you have your shoulder blades, blades spread across the ground, across your mat. We go little lift, little lift, little squeeze. Squeeze, you've got eight, we hold seven, six, we hold in five, in four, stillness in three, in two, now hold up here, option to reach your hands off the ground, reach the fingertips to the sky, now hips go drop, they lift, they drop, they lift, now option here to take it a little bit faster, in towards a quick cardio burst, go down, press, down, lift, down, press, down, press, inhale, exhale, squeezing your hips up and away from the floor, now maybe option, don't let the hips touch the ground, go down, press, down, press, seven, six, you've got five, hold in four, in three, in two, now last one, hold up there, you're going to change your weight, you're going to peel the heels off the floor, little tiny presses up with your hips, are your knees in line with your hips, are your heels away from the floor, push those hips, up, we squeeze, we've got 15 more seconds left to go, is your butt burning? You want two train tracks with your legs, so your legs and your feet and your hips are in one straight line, train tracks, go a little lift, little lift, we're going to go other side of that clamshell, in five, in four, in three, in two, one, well done, you're going to rock yourself back, rock yourself forwards, try not to think about that burn too much, sweep the legs to the side, and you're going to lower yourself all the way, down on towards the side of the body. You're gonna bring the hand to the head. You're gonna sweep this forwards, this arm forwards, and you're gonna press your toes towards your butt. Open the knee up, close the knee down. Open the knee up, close the knee down. We go, open press. Now you really might not get very far, but remember the side of your butt is doing all that work. So open press the knee, close down again. Open press, use the back of the butt and close. One more. Open press, close the knee. Now I want you to try and lift the toes off the floor. Open the knee out, now you'll get further. Close that knee back down. Open and squeeze. And now, after all of that, I need to sneeze as well. <laughs> Not a great workout today, is it? For me anyway. For you, maybe you're like, Gabby, yes, this is a good workout. My butt is on fire right now. I'm fabulous. We squeeze open with the knee and we close back down. Now glue your toes in the air. So you shouldn't be letting your toes move anywhere. They are glued in the air with super, super, super strong super glue. The knees there are opening out. Now imagine you're pushing something heavy back with your thigh and you're pushing something really, really forceful in with your thighs. Go press, press, we take it down and down. Now breathe, inhale and exhale. After this, you have your abs section coming up. You've got two ab exercises, but we're in it together. Well, we can do this. Go close and close. Keeping that forearm down towards the ground, heading towards your hand. We go press and push. We take it down. Oh my golly gosh. Open and press. Probably doesn't help that I went and did a workout this morning, like a bum and legs workout. So I'm definitely doubly feeling this. Open and press. We take it down and down. Okay, two more. One more. Now close the thigh in. Inhale. Use your breath. Exhale. Get the back of the thigh pushed behind yourself. Little press. Little wrap. Little wrap. Little wrap. You've got 20 more seconds of this. And then we're going to take a quick stretch before you go in towards your ab section. We go. Little press. You've got 10. 9. Eight more wraps, seven, six, you've got five, wow, four, three, two, one. Oh, okay, you're gonna come straight on towards your back and then I want you to bring your left foot over the top of the right knee and bringing it in. Or mirror me, you're sending that right foot over. Changing it up, popping the foot over the top of the knee. If this is enough for you, stay here. If you want it deeper, you're gonna bring the knee off the floor. We're going straight in towards your ab section now. 
So I want you to bring your chin towards your chest and then you're gonna curl your head, neck, shoulders off the floor. Bring one leg in, bring one hand under the thigh, other leg in, bring the hands underneath the thigh. Now just set yourself up here. So the arms are like this, straight. Your arms are bent. Notice a bend in the elbows. They're scooped to the side to pick you up and away from the floor with the torso. Bring the hands under the left leg and then you're gonna press this heel away and drive the heel to the floor. Press, press, squeeze, squeeze, push, down. So pressing the heel in towards the ground as heavy as you possibly can. Squeeze, push, press. Option here. If you wanna go there, you're gonna bring your right hand away. Squeeze, push. Squeeze. If you want that further option, you're gonna go ahead, bring your left hand away and start to squeeze the heel down to the floor. For 10, for nine, for eight. Hold in seven, in six, in five. We hold in four, in three, in two, in one. Bring the hand under the thigh, get the head, neck, shoulders further away from the floor. Turn your flex into a point and you're gonna to start to switch through the legs. So we go, switch, 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 switch. Switch, nice deep inhale, and then exhale away. You've got this, go switch, and change, and change. You've got eight, seven, six, grabbing that other thigh, in, four, three, two, one. Grab the other thigh, lengthen the heel away, hands underneath this leg. You're gonna take little presses down, down, little squeeze, little squeeze, chin to your chest, get your head, neck, shoulders away from the ground. Can you reach one arm long? Can you maybe go there? Reach that other arm long and keep pressing the heel to the floor. You've got it. Inhale, exhale. Driving the heel down, get the head, neck, shoulders away. You've just got seven, six. You've got five here. Four, three, two. Grab the thigh, get the head, neck, shoulders further away. Turn your flex in towards the point. You're gonna start to switch, switch and change nice and slow. We go switch and change nice and slow. We go switch and change, inhale and exhale. Switch those legs, change it up. Now you're nearly at the end of the exercise. You know what is coming. We're gonna bring those hands away for that advancement. If you're feeling like superwoman today, do it now, do it already, get those hands away. Modification, stay with me. Switch and change, switch and change. It's time, bring your hands away, switch and change switch and change now option to go a little faster switch 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 lengthen those legs out cycle that bike you've just got 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 well done you're gonna lower yourself down okay we've got one more thing to go you're gonna bring your hands around the hips i want you to lift your left leg into a tabletop right leg into a tabletop keep the toes together you're gonna open the knees out and then option reach the hands above the head reaching the hands up will make this more advanced squeeze the belly button down towards the ground squeeze 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 belly button down close the ribs together you're in a tight corset knees are over the top of the hips they're not in here your knees are over the top of the hips you're gonna bring left toe down lift replace right toe go drop to the floor Go lift, replace, left toe, go drop, and drop. Go lift, lift. Further option here, if you wanna go there, same arm reaches back and then replaces in. Modified version of this, pop your hands back to the ground and imprint your spine. I want no bridges here. If your lumbar spine is hurting, you are doing it wrong, you need to imprint your spine. We go press, press, go lift. Lift, inhale, and exhale. Need the modified version, don't be afraid to let your hands go around the side of the hips. I went, no one waking up tomorrow. Nobody should be waking up tomorrow with low back ache. We go reach, reach, we go press forwards and press, nice deep inhale. Exhale, exhale on the exertion, that hard bit you wanna breathe away. And then inhale to prepare. Inhale, two more. Reach of the toe down, keeping a bend through the knee, keeping a point through the toe. One more, and reach. 
close. Now keep the hands above the chest, keep those toes together. You're gonna fire the legs forwards, inhale, breathe in. You're gonna exhale, connect the heels together. You're gonna front press away and then point the toes, bringing it in. So we go, exhale, press. Inhale, in. Exhale, push. Inhale, in. You can do it, nice deep breath. Remember you need the breath to get you through this. Exhale, press. Inhale, in. How much can you burn in shape with me today? I know it's gonna be a lot. We go press, push, squeeze, bring it in. We got three more to get through. Point. We've got two more here to get through and then you are so nearly done with your class today. One more. Exhale, press. Now you're gonna inhale, bringing it in. If you need a breather, pop those hands down and pull the belly button towards the floor. If you're in the advancement, keep those hands above the chest. Now you're gonna bring your heels together and then you're gonna press your legs away from yourself. Now you're gonna find strength in your stillness. By that, I mean pull the belly button down, keep reaching those hands up towards the sky. If you want more, only if your back's on the floor, you're not bridging out through the back, you can go there, reach the hands above the head for five, for four, for three, for two, one, well done. Send the hands down towards the floor, well done, you have made it all the way through your class today. I want you to surrender your palms up towards the sky, relax the body, surrender your heart again, and breathe in, and breathe out, exhale away. And then I want you to hug your left knee in towards the chest, interlace the fingertips, draw the knee nice and tight, send that opposing leg away from yourself, and just hold there for a hip flexor stretch. The left knee is currently in line with the left side of the body. I want you to just let the left knee drop to the side so you get deeper in towards those hips. Try and keep the hip bones square to the sky and just open your pelvis up. Bringing it back through the center, you're gonna switch it up now. So now bring in your right knee in towards the chest, the other leg comes away from yourself. Knee towards the shoulder and inhale and exhale. Here we give this ankle a little rotation. And then from here, keeping those hips square, pull the knee to the side. And then you wanna shine your hips up towards the ceiling. Both the hips shine up, the pelvis shines high. Relax through the chest, relax through the body. Draw the knees in towards your chest. You're gonna rock yourself back and rock yourself all the way up and forwards. I want you to find yourself a cross-legged position today. So cross through the legs. And you're gonna bring carefully your left hand behind the head. Use this arm to press down into a tricep stretch. And then from here, drop in your right hand to the floor, take a side lean over, maybe take the gaze up towards the ceiling. And then you're gonna switch it up, bring in your hand across the chest. Maybe take the gaze, the eye line off to the side. And then drop the hand down towards the floor, sweeping it all the way over with an inhale, with an exhale. Lifting all the way up, drop the hands on towards your thighs, give yourself a little shoulder roll, a little shoulder roll. And then from here, you're gonna close your eyes, turn your palms up towards the sky, grow nice and tall off your sit bones. Find your last breath in, your last breath, exhale of the class. And well done in your nearly 30 minute bar and Pilates inspired workout with me. If you love that one, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and join me again next class for another workout. I'm gonna be launching some things super, super, super exciting. So make sure you've joined my mailing list on www.taylortoned.com to find out that news. I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.